Welcome to Level 1 Certificate in Christian Ministry. Today we're going to talk about the hermeneutic triad. So what is the hermeneutic triad? Well simply put, the hermeneutic triad includes considering the history, the literature, and theology of the text. So under history, we can talk about the social structure of the community, we can talk about the culture of the ancient times, we can talk about what I call governance, so what we would maybe call politics, we can talk about the economics, and so on. So let's, for example, take a look at a passage we're familiar with, Luke chapter 9, 23. Jesus says in Luke 9, 23, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. So what does this passage mean? Now when we read this passage with our contemporary lens, we can imagine all sorts of things, right, that Jesus is telling us. And so it's so important for us to understand what would this have meant to the original audience. And that's why we need to look at the history of this text. So the history, for example, would it help to know that when Jesus was saying these words to his original audience, they were under Roman occupation. So what normally happens when someone's under occupation? Well, they tend to rebel or fight back against the occupiers, right? And they would like freedom from the occupiers. And so that's what would happen. And Rome had a very effective and powerful tool to deal with the rebels. Not only were they trying to stop the rebellion, but they were instilling fear in anyone who would even think about rebelling against their occupation. So what they would do is they will arrest and they'll nail people to the cross outside the city gates. So in other words, as people are going into the city or coming out of the city, they'll see the line of crosses with people hanging on those crosses. And the scene must be terrifyingly brutal, as you can only imagine. And they did that again to ensure that there was no rebellion. Now, would anybody voluntarily choose that for themselves? Clearly not, right? That is absolutely not. But keeping with the understanding of rebellion and dealing with rebellion, how would this passage make sense to us today? So Jesus is telling his audience to deny themselves and carry their cross daily and follow him. So think about it, pray about it, perhaps even share this video and discuss this in your family group. And next time we meet, we're going to look at the literature in the hermeneutic triad. And then we'll look at the theology and we'll do the hermeneutic triad analysis on this very verse. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you and God bless you.